Hi, Afugus Moons. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine from Care 144. Very happy, grateful, and truly blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Afugus. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be doing a six card spread using the Melanated Classic Tarot deck. I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling. I just thank you all for your continued love and support. And I hope that the spiritual messages that I continue to have fun with and am very happy to provide and deliver are very helpful for you all. Coming from the bottom of my heart all the way to the top. Thank you, Spirit. Fugus Moon. Fugus Moon. We'll do a couple more here. We'll split the deck here. All right, so the first card we have is the Eight of Cups. So I'm definitely getting that a lot of you are walking away from what no longer serves you. I feel that with your energy, that there is a major transformation and transition going on in your life where you have realized, <clears throat> excuse me, possibly that what you're investing or what you have been investing in you may have been holding on just because of what you were investing in and realizing that the longer you hold on because of that investment, it's, I would say, increasing the deterioration where you need to completely release all, even what you've invested, realizing that what you've invested, you can reinvest in a new way in the way that you want to somewhere else in a different situation or situations or with new people where it's going to be worth your time where you realize what your value is and what your worth is and making the move to love yourself i'm getting this red as love A lot of love for yourself. There are a total of eight cups here, but the cup that's missing here, that would make nine cups. Like I feel like at one point in your life, you may have had some kind of instance of a wish fulfillment and it turned out to be flawed, faulty, Uh, illusion, an illusion, something that wasn't real. And so with this moon energy, I do feel that with the past new moon and the full moon that we've had, and I would say even with the, the eclipses that we've had recently, that this energy has been very, very transformational for you, where you just kind of keep increasing and growing into you, into your self-worth and into your true power. And I'm seeing a lot of water here. We do have a Cups card. Cups is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And so I feel that um, in the past, you may have felt like you had to maybe possibly balance emotions and feelings receive in order to give, give in order to receive. But I think you are now starting to see that that love that is within you is the most valuable prize that you could ever give yourself. And you're taking your Ace of Cup and heading away from this, what may have been a wish fulfillment and you're moving towards something where you're gonna benefit. Sorry, see, had to turn that down a little bit. 
All right. So um, also, too, I feel that you are very capable of manifesting true abundance for yourself as well. And now that you know what your power is. I feel like you're you're just tired too. Like you feel like, you know, maybe some time has gone by where you're just it's just not worth it anymore. Cause I'm seeing this almost like a cane. I'm not seeing that as an ace of wands energy. Just feeling old and tired from or the situations that you're leaving are old and tired. And you're ready to move forward. Away from the emotional disillusionments. But the eights are also uh, Scorpio energy, very strong Scorpio energy, so that may be significant. And I think that's all I'm getting from that. I would just say, you know, if you have any eighth house placements, I feel that. That those placements may have something very significant to do with your moon moon placements wherever your moon is uh, whatever house your moon is located in I feel a tie there and also too before I move on I do feel that you're moving from the night into more into the sun energy. You're moving, walking towards the sun. Because I feel like you, like some of you too may have been going through with that transformation, the dark night of the soul, where things are resurfacing for you in order to help you. That may have been harmful for you where there are situations that kind of keep reiterating themselves, but they're also designed to help you to see your worth and to know your worth so that you are no longer investing in what no longer serves you. But going through some very painful times and situations and possibly having to cut off some people leave behind things like again I feel that whatever it is that you have invested was really hard for you to let go but I think a lot of you are realizing too that you can just as you began investing in this and it didn't work out you can take your cup and start all over again I think it's just you didn't want to start all over again but you have the divine energy that's there to help you as I'm seeing the three here separated from the five, five meaning change. And then that overall three energy, just speaking to the divinity. So yes, um, I feel this is what you're walking away from as well. Like what you invested in you realize that you don't have to fight. You don't have to be a part of anything that has automatically been given to you for you to be able to do here on this earth. And so I feel like you're taking yourself out of the situation. And moving towards the sunshine. And I feel, too, as you're walking away, like, there may be some resistance from whatever it is that you invested in, whoever it is you invested in. There may be people that aren't happy with that, and you really don't give a damn. But I feel like, um, you know, with... Almost like walking through the fire... And as you walk through the fire, that's how you know you're getting closer to the sun. But we have five of wands energy here. Wands is Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. And as calm as this individual here is, which I do feel is you, 
where I was getting that this is more like a cane where the situation is old and tired. This situation is old and tired. And I feel that with this wish fulfillment that may have included you being a part and taking that wand at one point and using it to, you know, try to prove something or not even like, I don't even think you knew that you were really a part of anything. Um, it's funny how that can happen sometimes that way. But I do feel that um, you were you were in a situation where you didn't even realize this was taking place. And then once you realized it was taking place, you continued to stand your ground, but then realized what it is that you're getting out of it. Where again, we're going back to the old and tired and it's not worth it to you. And so getting through this resistance and walking away from the BS as we have another five energy here where I was speaking to that five and the five of change. This is no adventure here. And so I'm definitely getting that with that darkness there. And even though this is bright, it's still negative energy. But you're definitely wanting to be on the upside of this five experiencing adventure and abundance and happiness and peace and joy and what is rightfully rightfully yours and very deserving as well. I just feel like you've really come into your power, your true God power that is within you and are able to, I would say too, like you're not even walking through this. I feel like you're so elevated, like it's like you're walking up. You could walk up and walk right up past this and continue to move forward to your destination, where it is that you want to go, utilizing your power to move yourself into places where you want to be and surrounding yourself with people that have your best interests at heart because these individuals here clearly don't have that mindset. So the third card, oh, a few kiss moons, a few kiss moons, yes. So let's get rid of all this stuff here. It's like, it's like you're cleansing and clearing. And I like how the sun ray is kind of coming in on this, on this three of swords here. We have that three energy here. So what I'm getting now that all these cards are out, when I was separating the five from the three, this is the five and the three. So as a part of what seemed like a wish fulfillment, tagged along was this five of wands energy and then this three of swords energy. And I think that you have discovered that that's the illusion the illusion of what you thought would be wish fulfillment turned out to be this, and you're walking away from that. Because with the five and the three together here, we have that eight, and that's the walking away. So anything that has brought you heartache, heartbreak, betrayal, lies, deceit, disillusionment, you're totally done with it. Totally done with it. And that red there... It's like you've had enough of the swords coming through you. You're now going to begin loving yourself and taking care, very good care of yourself and making sure that that abundant amount of love that you continue to give during this wish fulfillment goes to you first. I think you... I, I, I'm getting that you've learned a lesson here. A very deep and intense lesson. So I'm seeing the rain here. And then also with the three energy, I'm getting Gemini energy. So utilizing your magician, 
within the God that's in you. Again, going back to that. And just taking really good care of yourself so that you no longer have to experience any of this shit anymore. The fourth card. Fourth card is going to be underneath the Eight of Cups card here. And this is having a lot to do with the home, matters of the home, with the fourth house energy of cancer and that self-love and that nurturing love. Let's see what we have. Yes. So because of what you have invested, this is exactly what I just said. I just, I felt very strongly that you feel very strong about what it is that you've invested and had a hard time letting go because of how much you've invested. But you, you've you had enough of that. And so you're willing to reinvest. And I feel that you've been doing that. I feel that you've been doing that. So you've kind of been working double time. And I can say that too because uh, we have an eight where two fours, uh, four speaking to stability, where one four I feel was working on one side of the one side of the eight where one four was working on what you were still trying to hold on to, and then the other four was you protecting yourself and having your own back and doing that stability work too on the new. But now you're totally walking away from that one where it's coming into that total eight. And now you've taken what it is that you have gained for yourself and are waiting, wondering when it is that you're going to see what it is that you've invested pay off. And I will say too that um, with this Ace of Pentacles here, just know that God always has our back. We always have what we need and everything always works in his timing or her timing. And so um, I would just say with the Six of Pentacles present here, separate from this Ace of Pentacles here that you have brought in balance for yourself. I would say trust the process and know that everything works just as it should. And it's all going to fall into place and you will see it as it continues to unfold. And so while you're waiting, continue to work hard and love yourself and utilize that sacral chakra energy, that creative passionate energy that you have within yourself with all the tools that you have I'm sure like I'm feeling that a lot of you have a lot of beautiful majestic and creative things that you can do like you built up your arsenal you built up a nice big treasure chest for yourself after all that you've been through before realizing the strengths and the tools and the power and the uniqueness that you are able to bring about and to be able to offer to help others as well. And so I would just say while you're waiting, don't stay stagnant. Just again, trust the process and continue to use your gifts in the best way possible and keep moving because as you keep moving, that's going to keep the momentum going as far as you reaching your destiny. So don't stay in the, because this is a reflective phase here where we're looking back towards the past. But we have this movement forward here. But I would say you have an offer here that's coming in of stability. And it doesn't just have to do with finances, but it's, it's what is rightfully deserved for you. And it's here. It's just a matter of, again, things unfolding just as, the, as they should. But balance is here. And with that seven there, sevens meaning that you are definitely on the right path. So don't give up. Because you're doing great. Regardless of what you've been through, what you have been through has turned you into a freaking superhero. And you're only going to get stronger.
And I almost feel too like you just don't really see this. And then as you realize, oh, I need to, you know, get back to this or I'm going to get started on this or let's move forward. Like once you get into this full Eight of Cups energy of actually walking away and letting go, you're going to trip up on this Ace of Pentacle offer here. And it's going to be even more than what you expected. And again, as that movement goes forward, you're just, I mean, things are just going to unroll and unfurl for you in the most beautiful way. As we still don't have that sunlight yet, but I feel like with the gold here and then the brightness of the sun after this thunderstorm type energy here, that it's coming. All right, so the fifth card, and this will be, um, so we have three fives here. This will be the fifth card. You may be seeing five, 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 ten, ten, which brings me to the judgment and reaping what one has sown. But uh, I would say with this year being the year of the five, this is definitely a transforma transformative year. For a lot of us and um, I feel that this card here is going to speak to the amount of transformation that you have gone through right okay so we have the six of Pentacles here and I was just saying here the six of Pentacles energy here one is totally focused on balance and balance being brought in balance is here and as you can see, the brightness, it's, it's even more glowy. And so overall with this feeling of the Six of Pentacles, I do feel that this is definitely speaking to balance being brought in after going through this. That just is confirming it, totally confirming it. This could also be speaking to the lack of balance that was brought in because of a situation of there being this five of wands energy where one felt like they were getting more than the other. But again, no man has any power over any one particular individual. So whether they decide to do what they want to do with what it is that they have, that's their choice. God always provides everything that we need. Always. So I would say too that the lessons that have been learned is that you're just realizing that there's no reliance. There's no true reliance in man because you know what it is that, you know, if you had, and you do, I feel like you do, where there's been certain situations that have to deal with giving. That you're all about fairness and balance. And I feel that that's what the reflection has been on. Because that's what you always, that's what you always are, are willing and offering is that six of pentacles there with the work that you do. But overall, too, with this kind of double impacting, coming one after the other, after I just mentioned that Six of Pentacles there and the Six of Pentacles here, I'm seeing the scales here that are totally being balanced. And the way that they're being balanced here is that Ace of Pentacles there. And that you also no longer have to be in a situation like all of this mentality of 
one overpowering another and giving and breadcrumbing and all that stuff. I feel like you're totally over this and this has to do with that too. Walking away from that. I would say walking away from all of this, to be honest with you. I feel like this is a very first, a very good staple card to come out for the first card, just to kind of speak of, speak on what it is that you're walking away from. You're walking away from fighting, competition, um, egoism, heartbreak, heart, heartache, betrayal, deceit, lies, waiting, wondering, breadcrumbing, unfairness, imbalance. You're walking away from all of this. That's speaking to that five and that change. So let's see what the six card is in the six card. Sixes have to do with unconditional love as well. And so I feel that, you know, God sees everything and he's seen all of this that's taken place in your life and what it is that you built up for yourself to gain the strength to be able to walk away, take your ace of cup and move forward into a new situations with new people and, and totally new prospects and new goals and new dreams and having that love for yourself having that love for yourself. This could also be you too, you know, with what it is that you have to offer with that Six of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles here being present here with you having that fairness and that balance and being more than happy to share and to give to others who aren't on the same level of mentality where they too can realize, you know, they can have as much as anybody as... They can have as much as the next person. We're all gifted with abundance here. So that could be possible too. Okay, let's see what the six card is. All right. Okay, so this is great. And I was really hoping that this, I had a strong feeling that the last card was going to be like a wow card. Boom. So we have an ending and a beginning. And just as I said, that sun energy, I felt like we were coming towards that. This isn't a sun card. Oh, and excuse me, Pinnacles energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So that may be significant. Um... But this is all, I feel like very strongly your energy we're beginning here with what you're walking away from and what you're moving towards, which is new and bright and shiny gold ass wish fulfillment. Excuse my language. I just feel very strongly about this um, just because of the spread that we have here and how my heart is feeling for you all. So with the nine energy here, this is that humanitarian energy. I do feel that because you have done the work and been patient, you brought in fairness and balance for yourself, and then you've been able to give it to others freely without expectation that your new wish fulfillment is here. And it's shining just like the sunshine. This is probably the most golden I've seen this card. And I've seen this card quite a few times, but I think it's really, really pretty. But we have a new Nine of Cups here where you have done the work, gone through the fire, been patient, been fair and balanced, continue to love yourself. And now you are able to take that one ace that you've taken from an old disillusionment wish fulfillment and are putting that into something brand new. Ninth house energy is Sagittarius. And then also with the cups energy, we have, you know, your energy here as well. Just as I said, um, I feel like this is, this is, this is your inner. I feel like this is your card. We're going to call this your card. This is the Afucus card because this is fire and water together. And I feel it's very strong Scorpio energy that we have present initially 
And then also with the Sagittarius energy here. And so I feel that um, with the walking away, you have turned that darkness and utilized that as your truth. You transmuted that and continue to sit firm and speak your truth, be fearless, be unafraid, sitting in purity with this white on, wearing this hat of red, where I do feel that has a lot to do with the love that you have for yourself. and not taking any shit. Arms crossed. I don't get this as anything being hidden. There's a smile on this person's face. But very proud of their accomplishment and what it is that they've done, how far it is that they've come. All the work that they have done is paying off here with this wish fulfillment. So you are seeing your wish. If you haven't experienced this or you aren't feeling this yet, this is what's to come. Because you did the walking away. You took your ace and got the heck up out of there. Took the power that was within you, that God power that's within you. Utilize that in the best way. I feel like, again, elevating yourself away from this nonsense. Been very patient. And I do feel like a lot of you, like I'm seeing this as like a wish on some fairness and balance. And I feel that the answer that came to you, the download that came to you was that you have to have that within in order to see that on the outer. And so I feel that's what you have done. You made it happen because of the inner work that you did for yourself. And now we have celebration, happiness, joy, a wish is here. And I feel like it's not just one wish. I feel like you deserve every single one of these wishes up here. Every single one of them. It's just a matter of what choice you want to like which one you want to choose for what day. But God has laid it out for you. And after going through this, this is very well deserved. After going through this, this is very well deserved. On the negative side with this falling underneath the five of wands, breadcrumbing, this is what you deserve. After being patient and waiting because of the amount of love and unconditional love that you continue to give, and possibly have been bamboozled about a wish fulfillment. This is what you deserve. All right, a few moon. So this was your reading. I do wish you all the best. Do enjoy this. We're just going to do this. Do enjoy this and make the best of every single, every single cup, every single drop. Continue to do your best. You're doing a great job at filling your own cup and manifesting what it is that you wish to see for your life and for those that you love and care about. And it all started with this. So I thank you so much, Afugus Moons, for being here. I wish you all the best. I thank you for all your love and support. And until we meet again, I love you. Peace.